Another Friday night, another dream or two. Uh, first or second? Okay, Judge. Yeah. The first one or the second one? Yes, three days. Both of them? Well, um, I want to get yours. They're both, I have two. I have two dreams. Oh, in, in the same paper. On the same paper. Mm-hmm. Did you print them out, Belinda? Yeah, I handed. Every, I, I put it. one on each table. It. So go with the yes, first. Please. The first one. First one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I was admiring how a beautiful woman was dressed. The way she was dressed was funky, free, and and original. She starts to tell me that all she wears is dresses, but in a complaining type of way, like. She would like to wear other things. I tell her, why does that matter? You look great in what you are wearing. She still doesn't seem to be pleased, even after me saying what I have said to her. Hey. There's a drama. What? There's a drama. Where's the turning point in that dream? Take a look at the, the dream. Where's the turning point? Then, of course, what you want to get is the state of mind. Mm-hmm. Right? So mm-hmm. if you look at it, where would you say, where's the turning point? Please, jump in. Is it where she starts to tell me, uh, oh wait, where she starts the complaining type, where she wears dresses but in a complaining type of way? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like she doesn't believe it. Or okay. Yes? Uh, I would say, yeah, where there's a dialogue. Where? Where there's a dialogue where she starts to tell me. Read it. The particular line. Um, she starts to tell me that all she wears is dresses, but in a complaining type of way. Okay, similar. Right. Yeah. So Someone else? Uh, she still doesn't seem to be pleased. Why are you choosing that? Uh, cause it, it seems like um, there's a flow to the dream and then it's interrupted there. Okay. What would you like at that moment? Which moment? The moment when she starts talking? She still doesn't seem to be pleased. Um, it uh, confused me. It um, puzzled me um, that she did not see in herself what I saw. Well, I don't get the uh, <laughs> state of mind. You put some more words um, on Yeah, put some more words on like a, like I'm cu- I'm puzzled. I'm um, I'm um, I don't understand. Like um, I'm puzzled. I don't understand. I um, I'm trying to understand. Um, but to me, it doesn't seem like uh, that she sees the reality like I see reality. Say it again. Like she, like she doesn't see reality like I see reality. Like her perception is different from mine. Yeah. So her perception is. Go ahead. Different than mine. Uh, and the, the difference is in, in she's finishing. Um, she's more uh, 
judging her stuff on a lower level and I'm judging your, her on a higher level. Good, good, good. And uh, what does that do to you? It, it like makes me puzzled, it makes me wonder, it makes me um, try to understand, um, but I'm having a hard time understanding. Um, like I don't know like what to say at that point almost, mm -hmm. but then I do ask the question. Okay, that's good, that's right. good. Sure. Didn't know what else to say. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting state of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to the next dream because it's it's taking the same thing. Okay. I was comparing two things. They were like a baked good, like pies or pastries. I was putting things into each thing and discovered some things didn't go into each thing and others did. Um, so there were similarities but also differences between the two things. I did this all night in my dream, it seemed, until I awoke. Um, what's similar? The things that went into both. Mm -hmm. The things that went into both, like like say they both need a flower, so they would both need flour. Um, they both need salt, they would both get salt. But if one was apple and the other was cherry, then the cherry would get the cherry and the apple yeah. would get the apple. Any of these things follow? Puzzled? Didn't understand? No, this one I seem to understand more, this one. But what was the issue? Um... I would say this was more, I was, oh, I had curiosity in this one. But just like that one, I had curiosity. This one, I had curiosity. Yeah, read that line uh, and discovered something. Go ahead. And I discovered some things didn't go into each thing. Yeah, that's, well, yeah, like, uh, it was like, a puzzle, but it was also like, wow, cool. Yeah, it was a puzzle, yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, you didn't know why it didn't fit? Um, <clears throat> Did they go together? Or? That one was more like, it made sense to me why it wouldn't go, because apple wouldn't go in a cherry pie. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it stayed... Uh, it, it stayed all night long. Right? Yes, I kept doing it. It seemed like I was doing it all right, night long. Right. So doing you're this, puzzled. Doing that. Right, all, right, again and again and again you, mm -hmm. through the night. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, what was that like being puzzled over this? I like this puzzle better than I like this puzzle. This puzzle was more of, um, of like me trying to understand how things work. Um, and like trying new things to see, oh, I wonder if this will work, but then if it doesn't, that's not a big deal, we'll try something else. And it was like, um, uh, like just going into wonder, like um, discovering and, and figuring things out, and oh, wonder. <laughs> uh, what do you laugh at? Yeah. We're beginning to what? Yeah, to repeat things, repeat uh -huh. uh, logos. See. This is a Repeating person. Logos. These right. are things. Yeah. With the same problem, it looks like. Right. But now, see, you're trying to figure, you're trying to understand how things work. Yes. On this level. Yes. And it must have had certain kind of impact on you since it kept you away. Mm. So what is it like trying to figure these things out while you're lying in bed? While I'm dreaming? Well, it went on all night. Yeah, I was dreaming this all night. It seemed like I was dreaming this all night. Yeah, like, the, the, yeah, yeah the, this whole thing is the dream. Yes. It, it, didn't, it seemed more like, um, not really a task, but more like, um, 
um, like I like I wanted to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. And I was amazed mm -hmm. um, in how things were working and yeah. how they weren't working. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're familiar with that state, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it reminds me of philosophy. Like um, when we're doing the work together, um, we were working on the, the uh, number 10 of the Hermes. And we were stuck on this one page for a couple hours. But we weren't going to let ourselves go beyond that one page until we figured it out. Yes, similar. Yes. Yeah. Why, why do you think you're having the dream? Why is it similar to what you're experiencing in your reading and study? Because I love it so much? Huh? That's going it, into my dreams? It awakened this state, didn't it? Right? Mm -hmm. And the higher and lower trying to figure this out. Mm. Yeah, the higher and the lower, yeah. yeah. That was totally in that. Can you risk an opinion? Uh, what was the problem that was going on for that length of time, reading and trying to understand that Hermes section? Um, he kept going from the first hypothesis to the second hypothesis. Yeah. Um, and he kept going back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, 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 go ahead. And it was, it was difficult because um, we were trying to figure out what he was doing. Like some things, it made it made sense to say certain things in the first hypothesis, but then it wouldn't make sense to m say them in the second hypothesis, no. or vice versa, right? <clears throat> Back and forth, right? So, yeah, it was it was um, it's quite interesting to see that that no. that that. Back and forth yeah. and back and forth, yeah. and trying to figure it out, like a like a jigsaw puzzle, right, or yeah. like a Rubik's cube, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, did you figure it out? Um. Have you figured it out? We figured. Well, we all put uh, in our uh, no. Uh, it was all of us, not no. just me. It wasn't me. No, you. it was all of us. You. Did I figure it out by myself? You. No. What? No, not by myself. <laughs> Because we were all doing it together. Uh, how are you working together different than what he was doing? Mm. Going to the first and the second hypothesis. How are we, what were we doing differently? That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, were you saying hi? Hmm? Were you saying hi? Higher? Was I saying higher? Well, tell me about this judgment between you and this person. Well, I've also been reading the Lysis. And I'm also reading the Lysis? L Y S I S, and I saw a lot of my dream in that too, and in, in that in my reading of that too. Yeah. The comparisons between friendship and love. Yeah, same thing. Yes. Three, right? One, two, three, four. Right. But you're not telling me about what you saw about yourself. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, How are you doing? How are you doing in this great day? Um, I would be honest, I'm having a more difficult time with the Hermes than I am with the Lysis. I was having a more difficult okay. time with that. Because? Of because of, what, of, what's going of going the back and forth, the back and forth. But who is going back and forth? He is. The, um, the, the mm. okay. guy who's uh, yeah. 
Or is he? Yeah, <laughs> or yeah. maybe that's my perception. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you want to say that? <laughs> huh. Maybe he's not going back and forth. Hmm? Maybe he's not going back and forth. That's my perception. So, um, <clears throat> you've been in this game for a couple of years now. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of your scene compared with the way you were been playing the game before? I would say my scene's better than I was before. Yeah. yeah. On what level? <laughs> I don't want to give myself a 10. I want to give myself maybe a 6, six or a 7. Or seven. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know I was going to say that? <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what's going on in the dream. Hmm. Yeah, it's not what's going on in the dream. But, but, <laughs> 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 uh, Interesting. Funny, funny, funny. Yeah, well, are you being a little cautious about judging yourself? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's normal me. That's normal for me. But that's, what we're, that's why we're <laughs> on it. It's time to get out of your normal way of being. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 oh, don't want to do that. Don't want to. Okay. You got it. All right, I'll try. You want to <laughs> say something, or should I leave it? Um, I need to think about it. No, you don't. <laughs> 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 Please? No. No, you're not. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to leave it at that? Yeah, let's leave it at uh, that. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Then you do see that it goes to the analogy with what's going on in your life. Mm. Right? <laughs> Say, is it possible that the way that woman was dressed and with it, what she represented was interesting to you? Oh, very. Oh. Oh. I love. Yeah, I like. I like to be more like her. But then when she says what she says, I'm like, what? Yeah, because if she can't appreciate it, how can you? No, I totally appreciated it. You saw it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, when she yeah. dismissed it, it was take, like, what? What's going to take for you to be like that? Since you are above her, you already see that. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to get out of my comfort zone. Well, I just, you, know, I ask, you know, that's all. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> How's your singing now? One more shot. Um, ten. Okay. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Marie? Marie. That's ah, this Marie. Marie. Oh, Come on. <laughs> I was reading the first line. Come <laughs> on, <I'm> Marie. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for sharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Do well, yeah. you want to read it first? Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. You ready? I was at Juan and Maria's house, and for some reason, I was sitting in the bathtub. You want me to start over? <laughs> I was at Juan and Maria's house, and for some reason, I was sitting in the bathtub watching television. Which is one of the best places to be. Don't want to watch TV. Go ahead. <laughs> I guess. 
but I was supposed to be taking a bath so that I could join everyone else. I suddenly decided that I didn't want to take a bath. It was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to be with everyone else. Thank you. Yeah. What do you make of it? Um, Same question, right? It's a drama. Mm -hmm. What's the key point, the turning point? I didn't want to take a bath. Hmm? I didn't want to take a bath. I wanted to be with everyone else. Yeah. At that moment, what's it like? At that moment. Um, it was great. I, I don't know the word. English is poor. It was... Uh, what's great then? What was it like? See, like a period. weight off. Huh? Like a weight off of me. Like a waking? Yeah. More. Um, enlightening. Uh, enlightening. What was it like? Say more about Beautiful. it. Beautiful. More. Um, I'll help you. Dull? No. <laughs> no, not dull. Foggy? No. Clear? Like I had a choice. Like Clear? I had choice. And clear. Clear? Yeah. Um, interesting state of mind? More than interesting. Pardon? More than interesting. What more say more about it then? Um an aha moment. Like yeah, an aha that. moment, like a a revelation, yeah. You're, you're like pointing a, to your, your, yeah, go ahead. Just <laughs> an all over body experience. Yeah, go ahead. An all over feeling. No, no, it wasn't just all over. Come on. What are you pointing? I don't. Come on. Uh, what, what, you're describing it as if this, so you're not? Okay. Yeah, like a. Go ahead. Okay. For a lack of a better word, like an orgasm. No, yeah, okay. Orgasmic. No, uh, come on. Enlightening, awakening, clear, beautiful. Look, these are the states of mind that are similar to this. Where would you put this dream in this list of occasions where you experience something similar? Now, where would you put that? On list of occasions in my life? Well, yeah, you've experienced this before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where would you put it? If this is a 10, right, and this is a 5, where would you put it? A 10. Out of 10, right? 100%. 100%, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, it was not what I wanted to do, okay? I wanted to be with everyone else, okay? Again, what's that like? Continues this or? Come on. At first, I did not like that I wasn't with everyone else. Pardon? I didn't like that I wasn't with everyone else at first. Uh, more. Um, well, I wanted to be with them and I didn't understand why I couldn't. So, I like that. Say it again. I didn't understand why I could not be with them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I couldn't, wouldn't, wasn't, how did, what word? All of those. I, I couldn't. I, I just couldn't be with them. For some reason, I wasn't able to be with them. Well, wasn't able to. Yeah, I wasn't... free of choice to, Pardon? free of choice to be with them, mm -hmm. I felt like I had to take that bath. Like, okay, okay, more. It, it was... Good. And you turned against it. Yeah. Right. I did. I decided that I didn't have to take the bath. Why do I have to take it now? I can take it later. Yeah. Why yeah. do I have to do it now? Why do I have to do this now? I can do this later. I 
that's an interesting expression, isn't it? Like, um, I didn't have to. Mm -hmm. What's that like? Well, it has a long history in you, doesn't it? Mm hmm What's that like? Not having to do anything? No. <laughs> well, I've always been told I have to. What? Um, and I got to a point where I didn't have to because I chose not to. No, yeah, you finally got to a point where... I decided I could, not to. I decided not to. Right? Yeah. Now, what's that like, that moment? I just didn't have to. Go ahead. Uh, it was great, uh -huh. but I took a lot for it. I, I took a lot for that decision. Uh, that means something to you, doesn't it? Yeah. But shall I ask you about it or let it go? No, it's fine. Go ahead, tell me I've about I've worked it. through a lot. Uh, I stood up, f I, I got abused a lot. Hmm? Abused physically and mentally. Yeah. And uh, took a lot of that for my mom and my brother. Mm-hmm, mm hmm You took a lot from them. <coughs> and yeah. for them. Yeah, for them. And, and... At them, with them, to them, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it like getting out? Getting out? Great. Because it was a big F you. Yes. To my dad, especially. Yeah. And my mom wasn't strong enough to get out. And mm -hmm. I had to leave all that. Yeah. yeah. I had to. It was... Sure. Had to. Not good for me. Healthy. To survive. Mm -hmm. On the level you wanted to survive. Yes. Yeah. So I left home at uh, 14. Yeah. Yeah. So, you see, um, I didn't like that I was, with, in some sense, had to take a bath, right? We said, hey, mm -hmm. enough of that. I want to go around with other people. But this feeling state, this state, blocked you, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, could you put other words on this? I didn't understand why I couldn't be with others. What, what's that? What did that do to you? Like, to feel that it, way? Yeah, where did it hit you? Um, like you did very well here. Yeah, yeah. It hurt. Hurt? Yeah. Yeah. Any special way or... Um, to know I wasn't wanted. Pardon? To know not to be wanted. Yes, yes, yes. Because I was told that my whole life. Yeah, yeah. I was told I wasn't wanted by my family and by my parents and never told I was loved. Yeah, sure. But I knew better. I knew I wanted love. I just knew they couldn't give it to me. Yeah, they yeah, they were unable to. Uh, they, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were incapable, and I know that my grandparents were the same way. Yeah, that's right. Ran through the yeah. generations, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, it looks like it may still be present. Well, my mom is still uh, very resistant to answering my questions, so yeah. I've stopped asking because I don't want to hurt her further. She doesn't want to talk about it, or she says she blacked out a lot and was drunk and doesn't remember. Yeah, sure, that's what people do. And anything that I do remember in dreams, mm -hmm. I bring up to her, and she mm -hmm. says that that did happen in the past. Mm -hmm. But then anything I do ask to further the questioning, she doesn't remember. Yeah, yeah, the wall. So there's no point in asking. Yeah. I, I don't see any point in anything to do with philosophy, she won't even let me talk about it. Yeah. She doesn't even want to hear philosophy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, there's no point in bringing something up to someone who's so closed off. Yeah. So if it's not beneficial to what little relationship yeah. we have, even though it's mended somewhat, mm -hmm. it's still mm -hmm. not what it should be. But I can't do anything. I can't 
take her emotion and hold it for myself. Yeah. That's on her. And so that's where I'm at with it. So does it hurt me? Yes, it hurts me, but I can't control that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where I have to be. Yeah. So yeah. I can't, you know, say that it doesn't hurt. Of course. Sure, that, yeah, hey, it hurts. Yeah. 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 But you know, it's interesting about your dream. Uh, is that I want it to be with everyone else. Now stay in that, stay in that stage. Okay. But on the other hand, look at what you're experiencing. Yeah. Who's losing out? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Who's losing out? And I realize that. Who's losing out? She is. And? And, and them. And them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. You're carrying a load from finish it to pass. That it's and time to let go of it. Let go. Mm-hmm. Because how are you doing? Great. But this state may come in and cloud it up a bit. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I got really excited. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm standing on a bridge looking over a river where I notice a fin coming towards me. I'm thinking it is a shark. Suddenly the river started to recede. Now the fish was revealing itself. It turns out it's some kind of a sailfish, but the body of a human. A young man a young man type of human, very muscular. As the water receded, the shark got trapped in the pond, and now it is stuck in the dirt with little water next to it. A teenage boy saw it and jumped on the top of the fish. As I watched, I was afraid for the fish. He's bear-hugging the fish and won't let go, and the fish was, bar was barely struggling. I see this huge wave coming, thinking if the fish is able to keep fighting, it can get itself caught, it can get itself caught up by the wave and be safe. Mm -hmm. Then a man with a van comes, come, comes up, picks the fish, picks up the fish as, as he's having the fish, I'm sorry, as he's having the fish next to a box, I don't know what he's doing. Then all of a sudden, the fish is gone. He puts the box in the van. I don't know where the fish is. He puts the box in the van and drove away. Yeah, it's a good dream. It is. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like going through the dream? Uh, I was, I was just observing and and hoping yeah. for something different. Yeah. What was that like? Hoping for something different. What was that like? Uh, like like dreaming, dreaming and <clears throat> and hoping something would come out. What did it do? To what did it do? Yeah. What did it do? To you? you know that you think back on the dream. What did it do in the dream? What was it like? hoping for something different or something. Oh, I felt like I could have done more. more? I could have done more to to, to, more? to save the fish, to say something or... Well, yeah, what was that like? Right? I wanted to save the fish, right? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. What was uh, that like? What was it like? Yeah. I was afraid to say something. 
because I was afraid of getting beat up. Now, what was that like? Afraid to say something right then, even though you wanted to save the fish. I was afraid to say something. What was that like in the dream? Like, why was, was it doing something to you? It was... Maybe it was better that it happened to the fish and not to me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I'm wrong. So that's an interesting state. Like there you are, you wanted to save the fish and you're afraid to save something. And I'm thinking, heck, it's better <coughs> that it happened to the fish than and not to me, right? Well, and yeah, and plus I was hoping, because the fish was muscular, you know, it was really yeah. strong looking. And hoping was, he, he the, the fish could... Could fight the boy off or something. Right. Yeah, and then a big wave came. Well, a big wave was coming. Yeah. And you then hoped? Hoped that it would kind of wash the boy and the fish and then it would kind of... No. Then you wash that man with the box. With the box? Yeah. You know what to happened the fish. to the fish and they had gotten in the box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then it, would you say it's a, the dream was a failure? You didn't do something? Or a victory? I, I don't know if I was... Like was I supposed to do something? Pardon? I don't know if I was supposed to do something or not. Well, that's what it says, see? I was afraid to say something or to do something. Right? Yeah. That's not well, it's your dream. Well, I didn't say anything. I was just kind of hoping and, and <coughs> let the, the situation work itself out. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping. But that meant you wouldn't have to play a role. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't participate. Yeah, right. Right. That's it. Why is the dream telling you that this time? Um, I don't participate. I'm watching. Uh, What's the, come on. Yeah. Try it. Right. At that moment, see, the whole thing is, in the dream, if you decided to do something or say something, then everything would have changed. So that's an important moment, right? That fear is blocking you. What's that fear like? What's that fear like? What's it do to you? It, it freezes me, like it makes me... I'm like a stone or something. No, yeah, like, you like, feel like a stone, like right. a mute or something. No, yeah. useless like, person. Like like a stone, a useless person. Yeah. By the way, you know this state of mind it goes back, way back, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to look at it, or just want to hold up on it? Because you know what I'm going to ask you. I, yes, but I don't know if I have any scene or anything. Well, do, you, do you mind exploring it or do you care to? Or? I, I, I care, but I don't know if it, something would yeah, come you up. Don't, you don't even worry, have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Just do this. Keep in mind the fear made me feel like a stone, right? like a useless person. You have that state of mind, see, way back when in your past. And as you think about that, anything that comes up in your mind is good enough for me. Go ahead. What do you... Just anything at all. Uh, well, there was another tragic scene recently, though. Is that well, okay? I'll take that. I'll check that. I don't mind. 
so I, I went to visit my cousin and yeah. and and she and her husband has they used to have a dog. They used to have a dog. Yeah. And she told me we we had to give it away, but she goes, she gave it away because the husband was beating the dog. He was what? He was be- beating, beating it. it. He must have been very strong. He he is. Yeah, beating a dog is that really shows a great deal of courage. Yes. Or does it? Well no. 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 I mean, you know it's a dog. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he beats the dog and she has to get rid of it. Yeah. So she told me this like the night before. Yeah. And then they had these chicken coop in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And so he was telling me they have uh, other animals that come in and eat the chicken food and stuff. And um, so he said he's, he's been setting traps out there in the backyard. Good, to catch these other animals. Yes. Oh, so, uh, and then so the next morning I wake up and he has a, a fire pit going and um, he has two, he has two, he has, he has two possums mm-hmm. in, in a box yeah. and he was trying to tip it over into the fire. Yeah. I don't say anything. Sure. I can see the possum trying to, you know, yeah. they want to go in. Yeah. Whew, that's something to see. Uh, is that where you were in the state? Yeah. Right, right. right. I could have said something. I mean, I could have. I could have. I, I, I should have or could have. I could have just killed the possum myself or something. I, I thought about it later on. Yeah. But that's when the same thing occurred, right? You wanted to do something or to say something and you couldn't do it because of that state of mind, isn't it? Feeling like a stone or useless person. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good that you can see it recently. Is it possible you can... uh, (laughs) Maybe that's... See, what's interesting is that uh, you're the one, you're the one who's seeing. You may not be acting, Mm -hmm. but you're seeing what needs to be done, but you you can't act. Right. They're not seeing, and what they're acting out is foolish. So what are you going to do with your seeing? Oh. I just have to learn to just open my mouth and whatever comes out. I yeah, I gotta risk it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you could get an early scene, maybe we could discover where that original fear came from that's still playing a role in your life. But um, if you say you don't, at this point, you're not able to recall any, but you may later. Yeah. Um, you want to leave it there? Yeah, let's leave it there. Pardon? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You can leave it And there. this is going to bug you enough that you're going to recall it. <laughs> <laughs> and when you do, you write it down and we talk about it. Okay. Right? Sounds good. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how's your world? Interesting. How about sitting down and doing it? Well, um, I just threw my name into the line. I want to do it now. Okay.
Okay, all ready to go? Yeah. All right, so this is the, this morning. This is this morning, 12 1 17. Was, we're having a tea meeting with Mike, who's my uh, old boss, or I work for him sometimes still, at Poppy Street. And Poppy Street, I'll add there too, is an 11,000 square foot house that overlooks the ocean on PCH. Extremely rich people live there for their vacation house. Uh, he says that when we fire this place up, meaning turn the electricity on, I say, oh yeah, by the way, I'm an electrician and that's what we're doing in this place. Uh, so when we fire this place up, we're going to go room to room, room by room, top floor to bottom, and start with the light and start with the lights. I ask, why are we going to start with the lights instead of the plugs? And he says, it's because, he says it's because it's more likely that there was a mistake with the lights than with the plugs. And I say, ah, I get it. And I, when I recorded this, I added this too, and I say, I, I mainly built this house. Like, so it's important to me that there are no mistakes or as very few as possible and that they're easy to fix yeah, or I screwed up bad. Um, I say, oh, I expect most of the problems to be with the half-hots. So a half-hot there, if you guys don't know what that is, so that plug up there, any one of them, one of them will always have power, and the other one, you need to switch it on, so it comes on only with the switch. And this house, they're really complicated, and they have a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's kind of walking away at this point, through a, a door in the wine room which I'm sitting down like I think I'm installing something at that point and he starts raising in my recording he says he starts raising just like his voice ah, ah, I knew it was you and he's sort of messing around and I start explaining and my head's like through the door I'm just kind of like getting a last word in sort mm -hmm. of in a way uh, and I start explaining with my head through the door, barely cracked, that back when we were doing those, only some of them were on the plans and some weren't as they got added later. And he's walking away and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where would you go in the dream? Where is the turning point in the dream? There's a drama here. Take a look. Any any phrase you focus on? I know why questions are important. Go ahead, read it. I asked why we were going to start with the lights instead of the plugs. Mm -hmm. And especially the line that followed it. Is that he right? says yes because he answered. No, okay. Someone else. Pardon? This is, oh, I get it. Yeah, it's 
say, oh, I did it. I mean, we built this house. I say, oh, I expect most of the problems to be with the half pots. Mm -hmm. More? Uh, I knew it was you. I knew it was you. I think that's where the turning point is. Okay. Some dreams you may want to know something in the dream that it's personal language and you may not understand it, so you may ask a question just to clarify that. There's a lot of that in here. But is there anything in the dream you might want to ask about? I've been wondering that myself, but uh, I think I, what I'm thinking right now is I think that's where I'm seeing why he is making the judgment of why we need to start at that spot. So you built the house, he's your boss, but he's criticizing your work? Well, so I'm take, in this dream, I'm taking against me, but there was a team of us that did it. There's no way I can do this house myself. I'd spend three years doing that. Nobody will ever wait that long. I still do. Well, I know quite a bit of it, but I, so at my level as an electrician, I need a master guy above me, or I'm going to make some bad errors and things are going to catch fire. Mm -hmm. Well, then probably not. They just won't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, could you explain um, he's sort of messing around yeah, so like he's not being overly serious, like blaming me or any of us means, so it's kind of hard to blame anybody too before you actually turn it on because we don't know if it's, we have no idea if it's going to work. Like I, I could say, like I start explaining to me, I think perhaps I had to say, mm -hmm. I start defending myself because that's how I feel mm -hmm. or in the dream, but there's nothing to defend yet. Like it ha we have not found out whether the project was a success. Uh, success or not, or what degree. So, uh, how does the last line fit in the dream? See, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, the appreciating one. Uh, and the plans, some weren't as they uh, got added later. Right, right. Okay, so in these big custom homes, so they'll give you a plan, and in this particular house, there were five sets of plans that you had to go, that's really not so convenient to figure things out, and then rich people have the money to where they just change it. They're like, oh, I see what you're doing. In fact, I don't like that. Here's some money, and make it the way I want. So uh, you do that, and that might not be on the plans, no. or you know, when, when you go back at the end of the project and look at the plan and say, why didn't it go this way? You're like, because things changed. Because things changed. changed. Right. They may have changed them as well as your. Sure. The general contractor, the homeowner, the home. all kinds That's of people true. could have changed right. things. Right. Sure. Or the, uh, it may not be possible due to no. the, the structure of the, the house. The plan may never work the way they want it to on paper. Good. Good. Okay. Um, in the dream then, I have one question for you. I knew it was you. What is that? Talk about that moment. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to call it a micism. He just sort of does this thing once in a while. <laughs> Actually, the other guys I've always were, we, we laugh at Mike-isms, but, uh, I... What does it mean to you? Let's see. Ah, I knew it was you. What did that do to you in the dream? I think I get, that's where I say, I, I, I start explaining, but I'm defending myself at that point. I don't know what that means in English. I, it means that I am saying it's not my fault What's that like? Mm. It's like I'm upset. All right, so also let me add to in this dream, the previous house this, that this crew did was no, nearly double the size of this one, and when we turned the power on, we had everything working 100% in four hours. 
And this boss was really pleased with all of us. Like, you guys did a great job. So that is in the stream as well, where I'm, now I'm defensive of like, hey, I've done a good job in the past. What are you talking about now? So, um, yeah, defensive. Um, no. So when he made that remark, what effect did it have on you? I'm, I'm like irritated mildly. I'm like, I'm still taking it as a joke, too, because no, I know no, him. And I'm like, no. I don't... But still... He didn't say you're fired by any means. You know, we had a team meeting. But I'm like, it, yeah, it got under my skin a little bit. No. 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 That could be dangerous, couldn't it? What? Uh, that kind of... You're not... Not sure whether he's joking, but it is getting under your skin, and you're defending yourself. You're a little bit mildly upset. Well, so that's the other thing, too. In construction, this stuff happens all the time, and you never let anybody know that they're bugging you, or they're going to just keep doing it over and over and over. No. I doubt he would so much, but it's kind of like in the background of the okay. entire thing okay. there. But in the dream, what was it like? Okay, now that I got that, that was very helpful. Go ahead. Uh, hmm. Defensive. I knew it was you. What? And you're upset, you're defending, it's not my fault. So, you know, let me say that too when he says, it, I know it's you, it's only because I asked a question and where it says in the beginning, we, we're having a team meeting. There's other guys that were on this project with me. No. And I don't know who they are, they're faceless teammates of mine in this. No. It's, but he's picking on you. Right? I raised the question, kind of. Yeah, I raised the question going, hey, I was here the longest and this is what I saw. And yeah, so I'm a, I'm offended. No. Um, it's all mildly, but uh, no, it's mild, but it's still. Yeah. It's bugging me. Yeah, it's bugging me. Yeah. Um, in these kinds of situations, uh, what is it expected you might be able to respond? Like he's an old boss. Yeah, yeah. Well, I work for in him the, too sometimes. Yeah. I in mean, the, but in the dream. Like, what if you were to have responded back to what he just said rather than get upset and defending yourself? Like, well, I did respond. I said, hey, it was, it's probably the half hots, you know? Like, they got added later. I gave. So I had an explanation of what I think it is. I want to know about that. Or, moment. you know, maybe... Okay. That explanation. What was that like giving him an explanation? Well, that's where I would say it's kind of defensive, too. Like Still defensive. Yeah, that's it's defensive. Yeah. I'm trying to sh say, you want to blame me? Push it that way. It's not my fault. No. So he's doing something, isn't he? What would what kind of a person is he doing what he's doing? What name do you want to give him? Oh he at I'd, this moment. Right then I may be an antagonist. What kind? Antagonist? And then too many letters. Okay. Uh, harassing? Uh, too perhaps. Many letters. What kind of person harasses and does that? What kind of a person is that? Mm -hmm. What kind of person does that kind of thing? Harassing? Well, I'm like the, the normal construction guys. And, <laughs> okay. But, uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, I like my dad, maybe. <laughs> like dad? Sure. Yeah. You yeah. suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is it coming up now? It's like my dad, right.
And it's likely when he did that, you'd likely have to defend yourself at home. Oh, well, yeah, it'd be worse with Dad. Like, because right here, I mean, if you really look at the dream, he didn't say, hey, you're fired for screwing up or anything. He's right. like, get back to work, and when we turn it on, then we'll go through this. No, rather, what would he do? Oh, my dad, oh, he'd just yell at me. and what? You're going to be a fry cook and a burger flipper and nothing better than that the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, you should be an engineer, too. <laughs> 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 See, it looks like then you may be carrying something along in your past that's cropping up now. Oh, yeah. And we want to know why. So look, at, ideally, see, try this. Ideally, what should, ideally, what would you have liked to have done dealing with this situation? Like, go ahead, try it. Uh. See, I knew it was you. I knew it was you. Well, that's what I would say. If I keep the whole background of what's really going on in that scene and be like, sure, it was me because your foreman told me to do it that way and I don't have the experience to know that that's not right. So it's your fault for hiring the bad guy. Right. Actually, I'd blame the foreman for losing it. Losing, he yeah. used to be like a really top-notch guy and then he fell apart. But, uh, and every, we all know that, but that's not in this dream here. No, that, right, right, right. But it is good to realize that this is a situation like I to try to get the interest in here is if we could compare the ideal way of responding and what you did, what shall we say? See, it's kind of, so like in this project really too, when the, the new lead guy, I go and help sometimes on Saturdays and he tells me how all this stuff screwed up and I totally get defensive. I'm like, no. The plans are here, and this is what I did, and I followed it, and the last one worked in four hours. And then he's like, all right, it ain't, it's not your fault. It's the foreman's wow. fault. Like, you know, a guy at your level, why would, you know, you don't know any different, but uh, you just do what you're instructed to do. I'm like, all right, you know, but it still bugs me. I'm like, ah. We tried so damn hard on this house. Been... Yeah, but what, what are you going to do? You want to get out of that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... Yeah, so like, ideally, it's a gap between ideal and what you're doing in the dream. So just once more, can you tell me ideal what it would be? You're saying in the dream? Yeah, yeah, only, yeah, in the dream. Well, hopefully somewhere else, but just... Yeah, in yeah, dream. in the dream, I'd say blame the... F the previous foreman, it's yeah, his fault. Blame, yeah, blame him? No, come on, blame the previous foreman. What, would, what does it take to do that? Oh, that's easy, really. What? Just pointing a finger. Yeah, that's true. What's it like pointing the finger? Come on. Uh, this is the world of construction. People love to point fingers in there, too. <laughs> you did it, not yeah, me. But then, <laughs> then it's okay for you to do it in your game. Oh, in that world, it's totally okay. Well, it depends. If you do it too much, then yeah. people will catch you as you, you just don't take any responsibility for what you did. But, yeah, yeah in this good. scene, I would say that's fine. I should, that's, wasn't my fault. Therefore, what's it like to be, have you done this before? Have you done this? Blame someone, blame the, have you done this in the past? Oh, blamed other people? Yeah, uh, correctly, and for good reason. Sure, I blamed a previous co-worker today. I like, that's not my writing. This stuff is screwed up, yeah. and look at it. So why are you having a dream that it doesn't apply to you? It should have gone to your brother. <laughs> There's just something curious about this, then, isn't it? This state bugs me. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, state. That same, <laughs> that same state, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and we're trying to figure out what would it be like to challenge that state. That's why we're playing the way we're doing it. Sure, sure. Which would be like answering dad. So like you're carrying that from the past, and we're looking at it and saying, hey, I'd like to get rid of this. Right, is I mean in the dream or in the reality? Any, I have an answer. It's both. Sure, sure, I'm just saying dream, reality, I have an answer yeah. for it. I could point out 
mostly, or at least to what I know, is what the issue is. No. Therefore, what would it take to, to do this in the dream? You'd have to get over this, wouldn't you? Not even seeing a way around it. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> That's true. Well, or, uh, uh, is your father still around? No, no. no, no. It'd be nice if you could meet him and answer him directly when he pulls one of those stunts on you. Not likely that he would. Yeah, yeah. But your boss is very much like him. Well, in this... In the dream. In the dream, That's sure. All. Yeah. Actually, I'd like to split my current boss and go back to this guy. He's way better. <laughs> <laughs> way better guy. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. See, what's nice about this, see, this isn't a huge problem. See, it's a mild problem. But your psyche doesn't like having a mild problem. No. Right? So what would you what would you suggest yourself doing? Well, so it's kind of like that last dream and many others and many other people I see. I can see well. It's how to act on it. Is that's right? That's the problem. That's the problem. Hmm. I guess there's only one way. What's that? Say what you think. So I'm not seeing where I didn't in this dream here. At least in the well, dream. But no, no. You see, you know, it looks like in the end, you see, you may have handled it. Agree? Right, I pointed out the plan. Some of the plans may have been late. But you had to put up with this state. And sure, the, and I'm poking my head through the door, getting the final word kind of in where and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, whatever, get back to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's it. <clears throat> That's the fundamental problem of the last dream, every dream, which is if you were to act most genuinely, how could you say and do something that would bypass the state? Right, like if if the whole dream had happened minus that state, yeah. it'd be more ideal. Yeah. So why don't you come up with a good answer for that? How can it be more ideal? I've been considering that a lot. And? Well... It's a damn good question, isn't it? You've been considering sure, a sure. lot. Sure, sure. That's, that's the problem. Right. Uh, Emor and myself and Bob been into what are the Gorgias and the Protagoras, and they had that question of, uh, is, can, is, can virtue be taught? And it's no. It's learned. <laughs> Well, and virtue, I think a, a, maybe a better translation in a modern word would be like a person of good character. Mm -hmm. Virtue doesn't really mean anything in mm -hmm. our language, but uh, or this day, but yeah. How do you be an ideal person or a better person? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Pleasure. <laughs> Somehow, by using my computer and my car, Jason and I traveled back in time to 1992. We get there and we're driving to find the apartment where I used to live. I had my green little toy car on my mind. Driving through some kind of apartment block, I find the place I want. I park the car, the Honda CRV, and then I go to look for where the apartment is. I go upstairs. I go past some storefront business kind of thing. It's like a motel kind of thing. The building and the surroundings look kind of like the place in Husper with the rotating globe fountain, 
but dirty and with construction everywhere. It's almost like there's been a war, but not destroyed, just dirty and dusty. Too many people are living in those buildings, and it's just messy and overcrowded. It's night time. I leave the car behind and run up the stairs into the apartment section. I go through the door and there's my dad. There's my very young dad. I talk to him. The place is like Hayam, a place where we used to live. Um, while we're talking, at some point my dad starts going into the mode that he used to go into when I was a kid, to beat me up. I recognized it because I remembered what it was like when I was a kid. And then he went into that mode. And I was saying something to snap him out of it. Then he's back to talking normally, and while I'm talking to him, I'm looking around the apartment and recognizing all these old things. Some that I had forgotten and some that I remembered from back then. I find the green car that I used to have, the green Ferrari. And I'm like, oh yeah, I put it in my pocket. And also another little item. My dad may have offered me some of the chocolate that was there, or maybe I just took it. I ate some chocolate and he had some as well. I look around and the chocolate, chocolate has some kind of effect. I find more chocolate. There's a bunch of it lined up on a shelf in an interesting way uh, on the other side of the room. I take some of that and eat some as well. I'm telling my dad that I'm from the future. He's very young. He looks very young. He's talking about something that's going on in his life right now. I'm still looking around the place while talking to him. I tell him, I'm your son from the future. And I say that I'm from 20 years in the future. And I ask him, how old are you? He says, 55. I'm like, no, right now. How old are you right now? He says, 28. I take a deep breath and I look at him thinking, yeah, he looks like a 28-year-old. He's still talking and I'm like, getting tired. It seems like my time is running out there in the past, so I'm preparing to leave. As I'm leaving, I make sure the green car is in my pocket. As I'm leaving, I'm unfolding to my dad, explaining what happened, what the situation is. Then I say something like, It was wonderful to see you. I love you. And I kiss him on the mouth and smile. As I'm walking out, I'm like, By the way, I'm 30. And I give him the middle finger. In a, teasing, in, a teas, in a teasing kind of way. I smile at him as I walk out the door. I'm wondering whether or not I should have given him the finger, but whatever. I keep getting more and more tired. More and more it seems like I'm fading away. It seems like the time that I have there in the past is elap elapsing. Now I'm running down the stairs and I'm doing that thing I used to do when I was a kid running really fast and leaping down many of the stairs while holding onto the rails, which kind of look like uh, stripper poles from floor to ceiling. I kind of swing around them a bit like Tarzan, and I leap down long distances. There's also another guy down the stairs. Uh, there's also another guy going down the stairs, but, you know, I'm very fast and going down faster than him. Leaping down, leaping down. I get to the foyer storefront area. I know the car is below and I keep swinging, going down until I get there. <coughs> On my way down, Jason joins me. He wants to go to the restroom before we leave and I'm like, no, we have to go, we're going. You can use the restroom when we get back. Reluctantly, he joins me and he comes along. You can eat and everything when we get back, I say. The bottom is kind of like a bar with a big open entry and the car is parked in the corner of the bar. I'm glad to see the car. It's, it's time to go back. We get into the car and I'm glad to be back in it. It's the piece of the future that we need to get back. As I get in, I move the laptop from my seat. The laptop is needed to travel back and it's closed right now. I pass it to Jason who is in the passenger seat. I'm in the driver's seat on the left side of the car. I'm still kind of wow from the whole experience with my dad. I'm still wowing. I turn the key and the car won't turn on and I'm thinking, oh, 
My mind is quickly racing through possibilities, options, already thinking about if there's a way to fix the car or what it would be like if it's true that the car is in fact broken. I try to turn the key some more. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Is that interesting hearing that? Yeah. Yeah, what do you make of it? Um, it was really fascinating to, yeah. see, to see my dad like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he mm -hmm. was younger than, than I am. Uh, it was kind of surreal. It was a surreal experience. Mm -hmm. um, it was really nice. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a, a really... Um, Had some very interesting high points, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's one of them? Um, I think just seeing my dad, seeing him so young and full of life, I guess. Go ahead. There's another one there. Finding the, the green car was, was mm -hmm. really nice as yeah, well. Yeah, that was, yeah. I wonder why I have it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a... Yeah, I'm good at drawing cars, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like one of my favorite toys Go ahead. from my past. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, a really nice Ferrari. Green Ferrari. Would you uh, notice six? Yeah, going down the stairs was. Yeah, what was that like? Come on. That's that's amazing. That's something that Come I've on. amazing. I've Come done on. a lot. A more. It's like um, I feel like I'm like Spider Man or something. Right. It's like I'm flying. More. Flying, leaping. Yeah. yeah. Like. Um, <coughs> leaping, flying. Come on. Like Tarzan. Yeah. Tarzan, Spider-Man mixed. <laughs> like Tarzan. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about it. What kind of state is that? Talk about it. It's very light and very, um, very creative. More. Yeah, I'll try it. Because yeah. I'm, I'm kind of like um, uh, every... Every time I make the next leap, I kind of, um, I anticipate it and I try to go further every time. And state of mind? Um, that goes along with it, doesn't it? Yeah. Airy. Airy. Come on, more. Airy. Airy, what else? Come on. Um, Light, creative. Playful. Playful. Yeah, yeah, more. And just sweet. Sweet. That's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> um, Look at flowing. You're familiar, you're familiar with that state. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, here's all the times you've experienced it before. Where would you put this one? Uh, I would say a nine. Nine. Yeah. A niner, right? Yeah. Rather curious, isn't it? Yeah, I've had that state in um, in my waking world where it was higher than than in the dream. Mm -hmm. uh, could you look at the trans? Is there a transition from six to seven? Just read the. See on my. W on my way down, you're still in, the way, in a sense in six, aren't you? Yeah, but it's it's different. But it's different. It's right? different because. Come on, now you're going down. Um, it's more it's more business. It's more taking care of business. We have to get out of here. Um, Why? Because 
There's a sense of um, like something bad might happen if the time runs out. There's like a limited time that we have in the in this um, in this journey. Like we travel back in time, and there's only a limited amount of time that we have to be there, to stay there. Yeah, how is that like uh, true? So also the premonition like something bad used to happen at such an occasion, particularly. This yeah. whole dream is in that sentence, isn't it? Read it. That's a... See if I'm... I recognized it because... Be seeing two... Because I remembered what it was like when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, I, I remembered... Uh, I recognized the way that my dad's state of mind shifted mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. into something which is irrational. No, no, no. Uh, it's, it's like... Yeah. Um, that's right. And it's like he gets pulled into this um, kind of craze. Yeah, it is. He gets pulled into this like kind of manic, yeah, uh, manic. craze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, notice that's isn't that interesting that uh, what was it like when you saw I was saying something to snap him out of it. What was that like? Come on. I was... Uh, um, it's like, uh, unlike, unlike when I was a kid, now I'm, I'm able to act yeah. when that's happening. So I was like... Um, I was saying things to wake him up, like pierce, piercing through his... Uh, haze that he's in. Yeah, yeah. So that, in two, how would you say you're functioning? Right. Was it, it certainly was successful, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, very good. Right? V very good, very yeah, good functioning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very... Yeah, what would you say, how are you functioning? Um, very effectively. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Check what you can get. Yeah. Um, You're familiar with this state, though. It wasn't available when you were young, but now it's now it's you're able to do it. You're able to act. Right. It's sharp. It's very sharp. sharp. More sharp. It's um, um. It's very strong. It's very powerful. Mm. There's a lot of virtue associated with it. Yes, I want the word. Virtuous. No, no, give me what particular virtue. It's, it's courage. Right, 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 right. Also fair? Yeah. No, no, or just, right? Yeah, because I didn't... No. Try to harm him. No, right, didn't run right, but dealt with it effectively, right? Yeah. No. Uh, you've been in that state before. Uh, same question. Where would you rank this one in the dream? That's very high. That's at the top. Mm -hmm. The highest. Highest. Yeah. Right. So. However you're functioning, you're on a high level, aren't you? Mm. Beyond the other one. Yeah. Uh, what name do you give for someone who's functioning on that high level and dealing with someone where there's a potential problem and you snap them out of it, right? It's new, you're now you're able to do it that way. A shoemaker. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. A, um, it's, it's, it's very brave. Yes, so, go ahead. And 
Hey, you're also, uh, in a very nice way, um, you're putting it into words, aren't you? That's what the dream said. See that? I was saying something to, to snap yes. him out? I was saying something to snap him out of it. So you're doing something with words. Yeah, there you? was some kind of key word or something that I knew would... or that I was trying to... Um, uh, what kind of person is using key words to pull that stunt off? It's like a, it's like a midwife. Oh, 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 that's good too, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> the finger, a three, go ahead, uh, five, excuse me. What was that like? Come on. Now you're acting, you see, before, <laughs> oh, yeah. before you're doing words, now you're acting. Um. I smile at him as I walk out the door. I'm wondering whether or not I should have given him the finger, but whatever. So, <laughs> how are you functioning here? Um, it was like, it was like a playful, playful um, way of saying goodbye and telling him like, uh, like, hey, I'm older than you. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Come on, in terms like, of the dream. It means like, um, it's like um, you're just a little grasshopper or right. something. Right, <laughs> that puts you in what position? In a, in a higher position. Right, you know. right, right, right. So this is another higher state, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Because also I know that um, he, uh, to him age is a big deal. But you, had, you talked him, didn't you? Yeah, and like he would always say stuff like, oh, older people are always wiser or whatever. Yeah, so I was so like, I'm older than you. You're now wiser. You're the wiser one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> say, in the past, have you had a bunch of dreams where you didn't act or say anything? Observe it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. going on now? Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm acting on a very, very good level. Yeah. In, yeah. in the middle of action, yeah. in the middle of things going on. Yeah, very nice, isn't it? Do the last part now. Seven. Eight, pardon me. The bottom is kind of like a bar with a big open entry, and the car is parked in the corner of the bar. I'm glad to see the car. It's time to go back. We get into the car and I'm glad to be back in it. It's the piece of the future that we need to get back. There it is. Go ahead. As I get in, I move the laptop <clears throat> from my seat. The laptop is needed to travel back and it's closed right now. I pass it to Jason who's in the passenger seat. I'm in the driver's seat on the left side of the car. I'm still kind of wow from the whole experience with my dad. Yeah. I'm still wowing. I turn the key and the car won't turn on and I'm thinking, oh fuck. My mind is quickly racing through possibilities, options, already thinking about if there's a way to fix the car or what it would be like if it's true that the car is in fact broken. I try to turn the key some more. Right, so that, yeah. How do you function? Good, I'm like jumping into action right away and yeah. Um, yeah. dealing with Pretty what's, interesting, isn't it? what's coming up. <laughs> yeah, it is. What do you think? <laughs> it's, it's great because I, 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 yeah. I needed to hear, to see this. Pardon me? I needed to see this. Yeah, why? Uh, because I've, I've been... Um, Like I've been like um, 
doubting my ability to take action. Right, and this is doing what? Uh, showing me that. How I'm, you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> right. Good. On a high level. Yeah. Good. Thank you. It's up to you. It's up to you. You're in? We're in. I'll, I'll post it. Okay. Hey, folks. Um, I have kind of a tradition of dreams or talks on Saturday morning at my house. And uh, if you're volunteering to show up, and so I'm volunteering my place. And if you'd like to come by, about 10 o'clock, uh, everybody's welcome. And you might even find coffee. If I remember to put it on. <laughs> I have a co uh, yeah, I think oh, it's the one here. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. I purposely walked out in front of a SUV I saw approaching the crosswalk. A black speak up a little bit. Okay, let's start over. I purposely walked out in front of a SUV I saw approaching the crosswalk. A black and white Jeep Cherokee. I crossed the crosswalk, and the woman driving it did not stop and ran me over slowly. I felt the car hit me, but it was real slow and did not do much damage. I over-exaggerated the accident and fell on the ground while she just drove off. This sent me into a panic, and I was on the verge of tears. I was completely appalled. I ran after the vehicle, which was driving off casually, not at high speed. I ran up to a parked car and asked to please chase after the Jeep, explaining it had just ran me over. The person in the car was in the passenger seat and did not seem very excited nor interested, even though... I was very animated and expressing my panic. I looked up and noticed that the Jeep did not have a license plate as it was driving away. You want to know what I think? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the theme here is that um, I challenged something, you know, kind of like, uh, took a chance knowing there was a risk and it didn't work out in my best behalf and I was mad about it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Someone else want to raise a question about the dream? He picks a place that he wants to explore. Do you go along with him? Please. Oh, the very first line. Yeah, what do you like about it? I purposely walked out in front of the... Thank you. That's it, okay. isn't it? Thank you. What is... I did it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, that's that what my, my colleague is saying. What I, do you make of that? Uh, Good beginning. Uh, I do that myself. Go ahead. So it all fits with some things, with some parts of my life. I just, I don't know why I did it. If it was an ego thing or, you know. Uh, no, see, 
but in the dream you can tell me what state of mind was accompanied oh. in the dream when I purposely walked out I just, in front of the car. Uh, I took it for granted that she was going to stop because I was a pedestrian. I, you know how you got those pedestrians walking in front of your car and they're all you know, confident you're going to stop? I was one of those. More, come on. Uh, I should have stopped. Go ahead. You said it? I purposely walk, come on, in yeah. front of the SUV. Right. I, I knew I should have stopped. Come on, there's a state of mind there that's really Where did it say I knew I should have stopped? Yeah. Hmm? No, I don't know. That is, oh, at a, well, I, okay. No, it's in your dream. You know everything. It's your dream, so you've got to know what it was like when you did that in the dream. Like, were you laughing? No. No. Were you shedding a tear? No. No. But rather? Uh, he was I, yeah, I was confident. I, 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 What's that like? Being confident. Well, in this situation, being confident, uh, it was almost like a pompous confidence. You know, it was kind of like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm a pedestrian. I like that. Pompous confidence. <laughs> right? Go ahead. Cocky. More cocky. Go ahead. But, yeah. What? I, I, I guess I felt like entitled, you know? Like I don't know what that is. Talk about it. Well, no, I don't know. I just, I guess it was, it was almost like, uh, a, a, uh, a dominating thing, you know, like I wanted to be the one, the, the, the alpha, you know, I wanted to like, it was like a challenge, right? Like you're going to, so I'm going to walk out, you're going to stop. I wanted to be the alpha. So I'm, so now I'm confusing myself. Is that how it was? No, say it again. Come on. I like it. Uh, I, it was... Yeah, like, uh, I, I almost knew she was going to hit me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Therefore, what was it like? Well, I was going to, I was thinking, like, she was, you know, she was going to, like, maybe, you know, not just totally run me over. She was going to, like, maybe, like, skid out and hit me, and then I was going to get to, like, be like, oh, you stupid, you know. It gave you a chance to play what role? It didn't work that way, but... It didn't work. But what... Uh, I was going to blame her, right? Yeah, yeah, I like that. I was going to blame her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good state. Isn't it an interesting state? <laughs> Come on, what Not was really? It? Yeah, well, what's it like? Uh... Well, there was a crosswalk, right? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, uh, I wanted to be right. I wanted to, yeah, I was right. I wanted to make a statement about it. What do you think of make a statement? I want, uh... Yeah, now I'm kind of seeing it different. It, uh... It was like, uh, yeah, because I was right, right? There was a crosswalk. She should have stopped. But was it worth getting run over to make that statement? Yeah. Right? Yeah, it was like, yeah. pick your battle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's why I'm interested in that state of mind. And you stepped over. Right there it says it, isn't it? I purposely walked out and... Right? You're saying, see, 
Is it's a whole drama you expect to follow, right? Yeah. Right. 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 The whole thing. There's a whole drama. Yeah, I know? thought it was just going to be over. Like she was going to, and I was going to be like, what? You know, flip her off or something. And yeah, a whole bunch of things going to follow. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. No. You got upset. It didn't happen. And you know, then I got upset. Yeah, because. Yeah. Well, it was, I got upset, but yeah, it didn't, it didn't happen like I wanted it to, right? Yeah, and then, and then yeah. it, it kept not happening like I wanted it to. Like, I I was, like, expecting the guy, the, the lady in the car or the guy in the car to be like, oh, my God, you know, let's go chase her. And, yeah. I, and then it, she didn't really hit me that hard, so I, I exaggerated. I exaggerated, like a, right. Like a World Cup soccer player, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, you're familiar with this game? Not really, man. That's why. It means yes. It means yes. Yeah, doesn't it? Not really. Yeah. You are familiar with this state, aren't you? <laughs> you know, maybe in one. Like, uh, yeah, well, no, like with with my mom and my daughter, yeah. I get into that, like in yeah. different ways, right? Like with my mom, it's like she she kind of does this to me, ah. and I think I'm doing it to my daughter. So I'm like, yeah. instead of fixing, the, like I could have just stopped and let the car go by, nothing would have happened. It would have just been like, oh, she didn't stop at the crosswalk, right? So nothing would have been there. But it was more important to me to see who to, the blame fell on, right? Like, to, to like, prove. Yeah, it's a game. Where's, it's a blame game. It's a blame game. Curious one. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you're putting the blame on someone else for what you're doing. Well, no. Uh, it was, well, it just was her to, fault. She should have stopped. It's her fault that you purposely walked in front of the car? It's her fault. Well, there was a crosswalk. People yeah. do it to me all the time. I go, I'm, just, I'm just reading your dream. I purposely walked out in front of an SUV. Is that what it is? If you're sitting in the car, you can you go to talk to about getting some help. You kind of take the same perspective, kind of like, you don't give a fuck kind of that. I'm going, in, I'm, I'm going to walk in the street purposely, prerogative, and arrogance, can challenge, justify. This person seems like that the same way. It's an yeah, interesting state, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, as, uh, this is rather important, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, it's something mom did it to me and I'm doing it to my daughter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to get out of this stuff, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's uh, the, the blame. It's a family game. Yeah, the blame. The right? blame, family it, uh, blame game. Wow. Uh, uh, How are you going to get out of it? What is the god of blame? I'm forgetting his name. It's in the Republic. <laughs> huh? Is it, what is it? You know the, the god of blame in the Republic? Hey, hey, how does she look when she plays it? How does mom look when she plays this game? Well, you? when she does it, I spot her right away. I'm like... No, no, no. What is she like when she's doing it? Um, she, uh... Well, that, that's her game, you know? Like, she, uh... She, uh she bored at that no, moment? No, no, she gets she's she all alive, right? Like, yeah. Alive. She yeah. becomes alive? Come yeah, on, more. Yeah. Alive? Come on, more. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, she's like, that, that will, she wins at it. You know, that's, she can win at that because I just, I don't, I, with her, I just, I call her on it. I'm no, like, no, no. Just to talk about her? her. When she's doing it, how does she look? Alive? No, she's like a five-year-old. She's like, oh, it was you. It was, you know, no, it was you. No, it was, you, you know, it's like goes back and forth like that, you know? Is she animated? Yeah. She's alive? Yeah. More alive than ever any other time? Yeah, yeah, she loves that. That's like... She loves it. Yeah, this. that's her whole hey, thing. This is her My whole, whole family game. did, yeah. This is the whole family game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you want to get the hell out of it, don't I you? I do, yeah, yeah. 
So what do you do now? So why is it coming back since it appears you are handling her? Well, well this is a, a, a month old. Uh, That's just a month old. Come on. Well, no, yeah. Was um, that something important about a month ago? No, but there's been a significant change, but not in this, in my state of mind. I was a little bit more down a month ago, but not in this, though. This has been, uh, I ha you know, I haven't, uh, you know what? I have a scene, yeah, that just came up that I did to my daughter, yeah. God, so, you see it? Huh? You see it? Yeah, I see it. What are you going to do with it? Yeah, I work on it, yeah. You're going to tell her? What? Oh, I already told her, actually. I saw it. And I apologize, and because uh, you know it is. But why is it coming back? I give her a guilt trip or something, huh? What is it? About? Was that after a month? But you know, I wonder how close to this that was. No, no. When did you have that? That, that scene that I talked to. Yeah, how long ago? Within a month. It was. Yeah, I don't know if it was before or after this. Yeah, it would be nice to know. Yeah, yeah. I'll. I'll. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe it was right around this time. No, no, it was after. It was about, yeah, this was about two weeks before that, I think. Yeah. But maybe it was something that, you know, just that one scene mm -hmm. comes up because it was a very mm -hmm. important scene. You know, I'm she, sure there was others. She, as she looks alive, right, then we imitate. That state That's of what being we do. alive. Yeah. Yeah. When you're with your daughter, you you too now become alive. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Got to well, give that up. Oh no, yes, sir. What are you going to do without it? I don't have a better life. <laughs> 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 Momos. They got to they got to blame. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Isn't that right. in the Republic? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Momos. right. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, that's yeah. It's a good family teaching. Pass it on for another few generations. No. Time to <laughs> time to finish it. Yeah, time to work to end it. Yeah, yeah so you I'm aware. No, see, I'm aware you, now. You yeah, have somewhere and to start. you're working it out with your mother, but you're playing it with your daughter. Exactly. Yeah, when my mom does it, I take. I ha I don't take it at all. I call her. Right. Up, you know, what's the, who cares who who is to Now you want to end it with with myself. Yeah, and your daughter and my daughter. Yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah, passing it on. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool, yeah. I got a lot more out of this than I thought. Thank you. <laughs> Jeff. Um, to the 17, the 12, the 12, 1, 12, are these two at the second, two dreams on the same night? Um, one was the night time, first one was night, and then I went to sleep again in the morning. Yeah, okay, same night though? Yeah. Yeah. This is last night. Which one do you want to do? To the second one, okay, yeah. it's always better. Okay. Uh, I was on a flying sh uh, ship, like a spaceship. There was another person with me and someone else with him, like his co-pilot or offsider. They were talking, and I needed to tell them something, but they wouldn't stop talking and listen. There was somebody coming up the stairs of the craft we were on, um, and we needed to be quiet to avoid getting uh, noticed. I held my finger up to my mouth, indicating to the guy we need silence, but they kept talking. Um, I went up to him to tell him to be quiet, but they kept talking. I physically tried to hold his lips together so they would stop talking and listen to the important information, and they kept talking. Fortunately, it was a cleaning lady coming up the stairs. I wanted to explain to them the necessity for stopping talking and listening, and to, ex to explain a hand signal like this one and perhaps a few others so that we can communicate effectively and silently when needed. They didn't stop talking to listen and walked out of the room. I saw uh, one of the other big ships in the sky near us start to move, as though beginning something, the next step in their plan. 
I wanted to warn our fleet of this so they could be prepared. I realized I don't have the rank to give orders for our fleet, but this was very important. And I wanted to be patched directly to the captain or commander to give this information and prepare our moves. Um, the ships were moving through long distances in space through the use of black holes. Not going through them, but using their gravitational fields to rock out. Sorry. That's okay. Um, uh, using their gravitational fields to bend or warp space. Our fleet with the captain was far away in the universe, so I realized that it would take time for the message to get to them and for them to see the ship uh, that was coming because audio and visual happen at the speed of light. So we would be communicating through time in some way. Um, I was concerned that they would not believe me or have the necessary evidence of these other possibly enemy ships moving. Then I realized that there would be an immediate effect across the universe of some kind because they're using black holes for their ship's propulsion, uh, which uses gravity, which has an instantaneous effect unlike things moving at the speed of light. So our fleet uh, will be able to notice that and take that as evidence of their movement despite being so far away. Yeah. Uh, interesting? Yeah, fascinating. Yeah, yeah. What's the problem in it? What's the problem? Yeah, yeah. Is there any? Maybe there isn't any. Um, well, I don't have the rank within the... Well, the first problem is I'm with people who won't shut up and listen. That's not a safe team to be on. Uh, the second thing is I don't know how to get them to be quiet and listen in times of danger. Hmm. And then that's do like... They, do those two things fit together? Yes. Hmm. Better teammates would be able to respond hmm. better. Hmm. Um, and then the next problem is I don't have a high enough rank to issue orders quickly and effectively throughout the uh, team. Yeah. Um, so I needed to work out a way of proving. Yeah, well, the ship is going to fail. Yeah. And with you in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. guess I'm on board an enemy ship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the problem then? Is that you believe you need what? I need to prove to the commander or captain that my... Oh, wait a minute. I need... In terms of the dream, what are you saying? Um, I realize I don't have the rank to give orders for our fleet. Um, and then I felt I had to prove to the commanding officers um, that what I'm saying is legitimate, even though I'll be communicating through time and yeah, large yeah, distance of yeah. space. Yeah. Uh, what view do you have of the people that you're working with? Uh, on my immediate team, rubbish. Yeah, what does that mean? I'm on the wrong team. What? I'm on the wrong team. Oh, maybe you should be on the enemy's team. Uh, no, no, come on, stay with us. Okay. Um, well, I haven't been afforded the role necessary for me to work with decent enough teammates. I'm too low in rank, again. And even these no hopers won't listen. No. By the way, is there a certain uh, a certain situation going on that you're not effective, and then there's another situation going on with the possible enemy ship? Yes. No. What would you say is the difference between these two? Uh, the second one, I solved the problem. I was effective. How did you solve it? by understanding the mechanisms that the enemy was using to move. But did you get to the commander, your commander? No, I wanted to be patched through. Yeah, but you didn't, did I didn't. you? No, no. So even though you understood it... I had no way of communicating it. I had no way of communicating it. So I solved it, but... Can't communicate it. Couldn't communicate it. which 
is the same with the cleaning lady. I clocked that there was somebody coming, but I wasn't able to communicate the need for silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and this is far more greater a problem than this, isn't it? Oh, actually, silence. Uh, it depends on your view. Um, this top one, I was in immediate danger. This one, the yeah. battle is for yeah. my teammates in different parts yeah. of space. But in both cases, you're not able to finish it. Communicate what I am yeah. solving. Yeah, because you lack the rank of the role. I lack the rank in the role. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's no problem, right? That's real. That's real? Yeah, yeah. That's a real problem. No, no, you're right. You don't have the rank, you don't have the role, therefore you can't say anything. So I should be able to communicate even without the rank and the role? No, you shouldn't. Without the rank and the role, you shouldn't be able to say anything. Well, if I'm seeing and solving, of course I So should. what? You don't have the role or the rank, you're, so you're nobody. But that's dangerous the fleet and for myself. Well, isn't that true? It seems to me you're not going along with my thinking. Well, within the uh, rules of the military, I suppose it's true, but it's not good. Well, that's, a, that's even a question of whether you're right. Because if you do know something that's going to risk the ship and everybody in the ship, Yeah. What difference does it make whether you have the rank or the role? Scream. Scream? Scream, yell, holler. To who? Either that or you're quite right and you shouldn't and couldn't say anything but you lack the rank and the role. Well, the first one I needed to communicate without being able to yell. And the yeah. second one, I, I needed to be patched through a communication network across the galaxy. So I was yeah. physically limited yeah. in both scenes. Maybe. I'll put a maybe here. Well, no, that's not true then. I'm just yeah. blocked there. Yeah. 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 So there would have been other ways in which to communicate within that dream, despite... Why is having... that? Why is, why is that? Yeah, keep talking. Yeah. Um, I mean, the only thing at stake is you and the, and the ship. Yeah, in the fate of the universe. Well, no, that's not much. No. <laughs> yes, it's, it's the fate of the universe. Oh, okay, look here. We're now dealing with this issue. Because you have this belief, finish it. It'll prevent me from communicating what I solve. No. The question, therefore, is this true? That under such circumstances, are you believing a myth? Is this a myth? Yes. Why, well, where did you get it then? That's rather strange. Um, well, let me... Say, when you know what you know about the ship and the enemy, yeah. and you know, hey, I need the rank and roll, but I don't have it, what's that like? Come on, say to mine. What's it like? Frustrating. More. Lonely. What? Lonely. Um, More. Exacerbating. Not too many letters. Um, uh, miserable. Miserable, um, that's better. More. Um, confused, angry. Angry. Um, sad. Nihilistic. Yeah, it's not a nice state, is it? No. Yeah, you're familiar with that state, too. Yes. It goes way back, doesn't it? Yes. Right? You're familiar with that state, aren't you? Frustrated, right? Miserable, angry, confused, the kind of nihilism. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is your past. What am I going to ask you? Where does it begin? Yeah. Can you talk about it? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, um,
What comes to your mind? I'm struggling to find a time in my childhood when I didn't feel you that way. You don't need to struggle. Yeah. yeah right. That's true as well. Um, for just us, what comes up to you about your past. Hold this in your mind and just talk about your past. Frustrated. Confused. Angry, frustrated, confused, nihilism, <clears throat> can't say what you want, you don't have the rank in the family or the role. Mm. Um. How do they silence you at home? I remember getting hit once. How old were you? Um, I think seven or eight. No, go on. And um, I, I'd saved my pocket money for a year. A year? And my brother and sister had been getting it weekly and been spending it on frivolous things. And then when I came to collect at the end of the year, um, my dad got angry at me and said, well, what have I done to deserve so much, like $200 or whatever? And I said, I said, well, doing chores is painful. I don't want to remember it. So if you want me to remember all the chores that I do through the week, um, you need to give me warning first so I can yeah. jot it down in a notebook. And then he thought I was being smart and hit me and I got knocked out for a little bit and I sort of woke up on the bathroom floor and I waited uh, thinking or hoping that someone would come and console me and then I got this kind of bored of waiting and so I got up to the living room and my mum and dad were there and they all seemed very angry well dad seemed angry and mum seemed to be comforting him and she said you uh, what is it you you made your father feel very... very like, you made your father... Feel bad um, yeah. with what you did, with what you made him do. Huh. What do you think of that? Talk about it. You, oh, you, you made him do it. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that? That's um, blaming the victim. That's no, passing the buck. That's how'd she look at that time? Um, actually, that's interesting. She was giving him affection in a way that I don't remember ever seeing in the house. Yeah, it's a moment of love. A moment of love that. Yeah, what do you think of that at this time? She's encouraging him to beat her own oh. son. What, what do you make of that? Well, right. there's two roles. There's... Right now. What do I make of that? Oh, that's... That's pretty sick. Yeah. What could you have said? I could have said... Um, holy shit, why are you training him to do that? No. Um, no, that's but, retarded and I was making good points and uh, yeah. are you playing on his insecurity and jealousy to have made him so angry and jealous that he snapped like that because you must know this day has been coming I've been saving for a year mm -hmm. yeah. um, what the hell is going on yeah. Yeah. Why do you think you're having the dream now? It's bringing that up, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess I have to start making money. And this is a message about me dealing well with saving and budgeting and finances and things. Mm -hmm. And also, if I need to perform in any sort of job, I need to be able to speak up and say what I've solved, despite not having some official rank or role. Right. right. What's that going to take? Curiosity, <laughs> bravery, <laughs> courage. That's all. Which? That's all. Just courage. It's courage. What's courage? Cheap. 
What is it? It's cheap. Okay. You don't have to buy it. Where do you get it from? Yourself. Yeah. It's cheap, isn't it? It comes out of yourself. How? how? Yeah. How does it come out of yourself? I don't know, but it's got to come out of you. It's got to come out of me now. Mm -hmm. And what if it doesn't? Yeah. You see yourself in this kind of situation now? Yeah. yeah. What if it doesn't? Yeah, that's How are you going to deal with it? Well, I have to label the, my parents, how they're actually functioning at Origin C. Mm -hmm. Maybe master the 24 parts of the lo uh, logos and providence to provide an all-encompassing counterattack whenever that nihilistic mm -hmm. feeling comes up. No. So, but this is the issue. Rank and roll, yeah. You think you need to have a certain power before you can do what you think is needed. And that's still hanging around, isn't it? I need a certain power. Well, is that what you're saying? I need the rank and the roll in order to solve this yeah. problem. Yeah, I do. I think I like that position of power in which to solve the problem that's not solved. Yeah. Live, think really. The issue is, is that true? In the dream, is that true? In the dream, I, I did lack the rank. They didn't you listen. think it's true, don't you, in the dream? I do. I physically try and hold his lips together and it didn't work. I couldn't have done anything else. But you see, if you say what you think, then they have the problem, not you. Who's going to get it, they or you? By being on their team, I was kind of reliant on them because, in other words, their fa their failure results in my failure. So your only job is to say what you see. What they do with it is their problem, not yours. So I should have said quiet and then just racked off and left these two idiots to jabber on and get caught. Wait a minute. Ideally, shouldn't you have said very quickly, hey, immediately, hey, this is a danger, the ship is in danger? Which time? Second time. The second time, yeah. Hey, when you spotted the enemy, yeah. how long did it... Come on. However long that episode took, what would have happened if you addressed it immediately? Come on. Uh-huh. Um, it would have flowed more. It would have been more fun. I wouldn't have wasted time on eventualities that might not have come up. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? You'd have more fun, then they get the problem of dealing with it. Yeah, yeah. but I waste time running through scenarios that... Yeah, that time is ruinous, right? Because the longer it takes, the greater the, the danger. Yeah. Pierre. <laughs> so in the first section, maybe I'm a poor reader, but I don't see any danger. He's on, well, let me get this right here, Jed. You're on your ship, right? No, no, I'm on the enemy's ship. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, the first, oh, I should have made that more clear. The first part. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure, but the way I was reacting for the rest of the dream, I, I must have been on an enemy ship because somebody came up the stairs, my three guys, I was like, shh, someone's coming, we'll get caught out, so we must be on an enemy ship, which can be why we can see the start of the attack. So we can, I'm trying to communicate to my fleet on the other side of the universe the attack, the battle's about to begin. Um, You're on the other ship. I'm on the other ship, and we could get found out. Like, we're like Luke Skywalker's on the Death Star. And um, I'm saying, hey, look, there's somebody coming. Be quiet. They don't listen to this. Sure. They don't listen to the words, and they don't listen well, to physical. I got you is, but if you're on your own ship, it's really weird that you're telling your own guys to be quiet. We're going to get noticed. 
Yes, we must go now the ship. Yeah. You, you know, uh, sorry, you, you know that, that that was in the dream or you're inferring that? <sighs> I am inferring that, yeah, because they are sitting in the captain's seat. But it doesn't make sense why our ship will be with the other fleet. I'm just saying that's pretty normal for guys on your side to be sitting in the captain's seat of the enemy ship for what not normal. Yeah, you're right. Well, what, what did you say? Well, yeah, I'm just saying if, if oh, you guys... Right, right there. Well, there's a puzzle. Like, I'm inferring that I'm on an enemy ship. You're on an enemy ship. Enemy ship, yeah. Enemy ship? Yeah, like the three of us. The three of us are like our infiltra infiltration team. And so we've, we're on the enemy ship. We've infiltrated behind. We've got behind enemy lines. Okay. And there's some uh, Nazis coming. And they have to be quiet. And I'm saying, they didn't listen. I was like, run over to them. Quiet, someone's coming. They'll catch us. They kept talking. And then I physically tried to hold their mouth shut. And they did. But fortunately, it was just a cleaning lady. No threat. And so we got out of it. But it could have been my ass. Yeah, the second part of the dream. And the second part of the dream, um, I noticed that the enemy ships around us are starting to warp. It's starting to move. And um, I thought, okay, that's a danger for our team where they're going to. Okay. I need to warn our fleet. Okay. Just Say one, not. Go ahead. Another thought there, if, even if it's just a cleaning lady, don't you think like a Nazi cleaning lady might turn in an Englishman just as well? Or an American? I'd, Okay. Yes, it is interesting that we just let the cleaning lady go off on a business. <laughs> she doesn't speak English. She doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> You're right. That is a puzzle. What, what can you use from what was said? Um, we must be on our own ship. Yeah. But our ship has gotten... But, but the second episode, the enemy is different than the ship you're on. Yes, the enemy are going, yes. Right, so that's why we're dealing with that part of the dream. You said you couldn't say anything because you lacked the role and the rank. Yes, to be patched through on the airwaves yes. to our fleet. Yeah. When I could have talked to the operator yeah. and said, and, hey, operator. And you also said that had you said something immediately, right, the danger would have been lessened. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And therefore, this think what you think you need, you're paying a price for that it may wipe out your ship. Yes, and it's coming up here as well because I think I can't even make that call unless I have uh, a way of proving it to them. So I think I need uh, some extra power that I don't. And I would have been able to work this out in the moment anyway about the gravitational thing, and that might not even come up. Oh. But it's like I'm not allowing myself to behave the way I should because I feel I'm lacking or right. I'm not good right. enough yet. Rather than taking the risk of saying what you think because of the urgency, the hell with the rank and yeah. the role. And that's courage. Yeah. How does not feel yeah. incredible? Not feel incredible. Pardon? Not feeling credible. Yes. Feeling yes. credible. Yes. Yes. So what are you going to do? Um, speak up. As soon as I see things that are urgent. And the heck with waiting until you get rank and roll. Right. Is that right? How can I be sure in what I'm seeing? You're not sure. How can I be sure in what I'm seeing if I'm speaking of rank? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. No. Again, I tried to undermine it. Yeah, well, away. You tell me what you see right now. Somebody instilled rank and roll, no doubt my it's dumb costing you. parents and it's costing me to this day. Mm. What would it be like? To act immediately, spontaneously, and to say what you think and the hell with the cost. What would that be like? Mm -hmm. By the way, is this also a problem in uh, relationships? Yes, absolutely. Oh. So the problem in relationship is also in here. Yeah, I don't act spontaneously, and then yeah. I can't 
imagine a scenario playing yeah. outside. He said, well, that's not worth doing. Yeah. So it's all over. Yeah, before it even begins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to act on what you're seeing spontaneously in the moment with the full force of your being, despite how the gods and men will treat you, is well, excellence. See. Virtue. If you see that, then anything that's blocking you from doing it is then your problem. That's how you surface a problem. To act along with that Republic definition. If you see that you, the way to get out of the problem is to act independently of this, mm -hmm. but you can't do it, that's the problem. You don't have that yet. Oh, no, that happens all the time. Well, I guess this is the first time I've had this particular insight. Well, this is coming up to remind you that you haven't dealt with it. So how do I deal with it so it doesn't come up again? Where sus we suspect the only way is to surface the problem. Come on. Yeah. What do we mean by surfacing the problem? Um, act towards the highest, most meaningful. And see what happens when you do that, if you're successful or not in doing it. Yeah. Yesterday I did that, and that state came up. Yeah, right. Before I could even begin anything. Yeah. And then I went, walked away feeling horrible. Yeah. And I oh, and I had that off oh, for the group as well. Um, I told you about how I called my mum and asked her that question that you had. Well, I also called my dad and asked him that question that came up. And a very similar um, midwifing sort of session came. We had lots of scenes from his childhood and. And um, I thought I had an answer to my question. I asked him both questions. One helped trigger the conversation and the other. So I was like thinking, okay, the logo has gone. Let's go meet my goals. And then that happened straight away. Um, and then I was like, okay, I've got to see some more. And so I, I walked along and did some more reasoning, put some more things together and think, okay, I've seen how one pathologos complements the other and how that is tandem force and maybe that's seen enough beauty and I'm pathologos free right now. Within a second, the same situation happened and I felt the exact same way and I was stuck again. I was like, oh, this is horrible. And I walked away feeling rubbish. This happened yesterday. So definitely now it's going to work completely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good show. Done. Pierre. So you had two dreams there, and you said always take the second one over the first one, and I was curious why. Well, often. You said it was better. No, I think. Better. Uh, It is often the case that, that if there are two parts, the second is adding something essential to the first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if there are two parts to the dream, I go to the second part. But however, and what we saw tonight, it's important to start with the first part. No, I meant like, so we had dream one that yeah. we did not look at tonight? That's right. And then dream two, you chose dream two. Yeah, that's right. And it was that similar kind well, of... Well, a matter of fact, if we just take a moment and look at it, we, I think you've seen it. Just, what do you see? Uh, which one? No, I the, first one. the first yeah. one. Yeah. Shall I read it? Yes, you want to read it? Yes. There was a rope that I shot off the side of a big boat. There was a climb. It looked long. I thought about how it might look from the top of the rope where there's this large fall if I fell. I wondered if the fall onto the ocean from that height would kill me. As I started to climb, I realized that I was not, it was not as tiring on my arms as I thought. And I had a technique of turning my wrists as I grabbed the next section of the rope, which made it pretty secure as I climbed. Before I knew it, I was almost at the top. It didn't make sense then to dwell on the possibilities of the fall because climbing was so easy because I was climbing so easily. I made it to the deck of the boat. Uh, the other person I was with who threw another rope over the side of the boat to climb up with me, although it wasn't as secure, was up on the deck with me. When we got to the top there was a person on the boat congratulated us for making it there and asked if we had saw the, uh, if we saw the men that were surveilling us the entire time. 
As soon as he said it, I recognized the people watching. The friend I was with asked what he meant, and I pointed to the sniper on top of another building behind us that was watching us climb. Um, that I didn't see or notice until I was asked about them. Uh, I said I did know, and then I pointed my friend to all the other snipers who were watching us. There are about a dozen that I was then able to see, but didn't know that I was aware of. Uh, the implication from this person on the boat is what I thought was a success, making up to the boat, was actually trivial, as we were being monitored by snipers the entire time. So what do you make of that? Uh, stay on the last sentence. The implication from the person on the boat is what I thought was a success was actually trivial as we were being monitored by snipers the entire time. No. Because I wasn't aware of... I thought we were getting one up on them, but really they were watching us the whole time. No, but um, were you able to achieve something on what you were doing? Yeah, I was. Yeah. What do you think of your achievement in the end? Well, I wasn't really a success if I was being monitored by the enemy the entire time. Please, stay on that last sentence. So I thought we'd successfully climbed onto this... You thought this it was a success. And we were greeted by the enemy saying, congratulations. Right. But didn't you notice we had you in our sights the entire time? So you, you've lost. We caught you. Yeah, is that true? Why did your success, why is your success wiped out? Because of this event, because is being watched by other people. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why does the success, right, uh, disappear? Because other people are watching. Yeah. Isn't your success still a success? Well, in terms of climbing up the boat, I suppose, no. yeah. But you judge it to be what? A failure. Because? Because we hadn't really snuck up on the enemy. They were watching us the entire time. Although, okay, okay. maybe they're not the enemy. See, because... The enemy knew we were there. Yeah. Snipers. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, that does something for your success, doesn't it? I judge it as a failure, but then... I knew that they were there the whole time, I just... But they didn't do any shooting. They didn't do any shooting. So they weren't a threat. It was a threat. No, there wasn't a threat. No threat. Because they weren't shooting. No. But you're saying because they saw you, I did not have the success I thought I had. Yeah. Who is they? Because it ended up that they did what? They knew you were there. They knew I was there. Yeah, therefore your surveillance or whatever you were doing was now observed. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yes, was I in the middle of the ocean? In the middle of the ocean. And I was, yeah. Oh, wait. Should snipers just be like people, society, watching you? You think they're harmful? You think they're, they're snipers? The gun's pointed at you. This but is my question, yeah. You what? Think they're, but like they're not harmful. You get to the top and they said they're watching you the whole time. Yeah. You have this anxiety about 
society and, and you're going, you're climbing a rope, you're going up, you're in the middle of an ocean on your boat, which is your life, and you're going up the rope and you think this climb up your life is hard, but you see yourself looking down at yourself and you say, okay, that's not, I can do it. You know, you see from the future and you look back at yourself and you're like, okay, I can do it. And it gives you the power to climb up, regardless of people watching. And so when you get up there, then you realize, okay, I was able to do it, even though everyone was watching me, it was like a false sense of uh, danger. So you have a false sense of danger while you're climbing up the rope, which is spiritually scaling life. Is that well, the real danger was the fall after the snipers went shooting me. Yeah. But didn't you say, you said you're scared of... You said you might fall off yeah. the rope. So is, was that like a, you might fall because of the sniper, or you might fall because you couldn't hold on? I couldn't hold on and climb up the rope. You wasn't scared of the sniper actually shooting you? No, I wasn't afraid of them at all. You were scared you couldn't do it. Okay. But you yeah. did. But you did. did. Could you read this? The person, the on, person the on the boat congratulated us. Who's the person? What rank is he on? Oh, I think he's got a blue jacket. I think he's got a funny hat on. So I think he's high ranking. A what? Funny hat. Yeah, but what kind of a person was he congratulating him? He must have been a high-ranking general. A high-ranking general. Because he has the Thank ability you. to be right, right, sarcastic. Right, right. He's a high-ranking person. Mm. Yeah, he was wrong then. Is that right, according to you? In the dream? He was, yeah. I remember the state of mind I was in. I was confident. He lost. Uh, we want to know whether or not there was a success. Climbing the ropes, yes. According to the high-ranking officer. He said no. No, because you're being watched. Pardon me. Is he congratulating you yes. guys? Yes. What does that mean? Success. Thank you. But he was being sarcastic. I don't know. It's your dream. I, I, I can, he can be sarcastic. You have to tell me that's what he was in the dream. What is this saying, though? About success? a success, yeah, success. Yeah, yeah it's a success, right? Mm. Yeah. No. But I throw it away. But you throw it away because He's your judgment. My judgment. Now, what do you make of that? I thought it was a success. Yeah. You agree with the high-ranking officer, yep. except you had, you were monitored by the snipers. Yeah. But were you successful in what you were doing? Yes. In what I was doing, I was successful. But your judgment is? I was not. Because? Come on, that line. Because... It was actually trivial. Trivial. Was hey, being what's it like? Hey, what's it like saying that? Hey, here's the highest ranking officer, general. He says this. You're saying fooey. It's a failure. Is that right? Yeah. I feel I feel like that other state of mind. I feel my goals are not significant. Look. No. Uh, then he was wrong. Or he's right and you're wrong. Come on, you have to tell me. In terms of the dream. This reminds me of your dream back at the seminar. With the rug, you guys are rugging. Mm. So it was a success. The general trying to undermine me for doing something he couldn't do was that there were these people watching me the whole time but I kind of as soon as he pointed it out I was able to say yeah I knew there was a guy there and then hearing that there are more I was able to instantly see them around so it wasn't a concern he's creating this false problem that allowed me to undermine my ability and for him to keep his rank if I've outperformed him okay See, it's perfectly okay to change the dream, so long as it is in the dream. 
But if we, what do you want to change? Because it looks like what, what we have here is that a high-ranking general congratulated you as a success. Yeah. And now you're saying... He was being sarcastic. But was he being sarcastic in the dream? No, he wasn't. Pardon? Maybe he wasn't. Did I remember that wrong as I woke up? Look here. Here is someone with a high rank. Yeah. Right? He's there making a judgment. You're saying that's not the case. Right? I failed because they were snipers who observed me. Yeah, I think I should have been aware of them. Well... Uh, if this is an infiltration mission, then I should be aware of the snipers. Where did, well, where did that happen? Did that have become an infiltration? I didn't read any of that in any of their... Oh, yeah. See, you have to stay with that second, the last sentence, the last sentence in the second paragraph. Go ahead. When we got to the top... He asked whether you were aware of the snipers. So, yeah. He was aware of them, wasn't he? The general at the top of the boat was, yeah. Yeah, he had to be aware of it. He was, yeah. Yeah. It was nice that he was passing that information to you. Yeah. Did he? No. No. At the top he did. He said the whole time you were being surveilled, did you even notice? But he congratulated you. Yes, because there was a big team of people that were trying to get there, like a mission, and I was the only one who got, well, there was this guy on a more rickety rope who got there after me. But I succeeded in the mission yeah. that I was given. So it was a success. Yeah. But then he said, by the way, we were monitoring you the whole time. Did you notice? And I said, I, I wasn't aware that I was aware. But as soon as he said it, I was. See, okay, see, you have to say in the dream, what difference does it make if snipers were aware of your presence? They didn't fire. Where's the threat? In the dream, not just thinking about those. Well, the threat is that they could have taken us at any time. They are watching us, like watching us play our little game that mm -hmm. we thought was important but isn't because at any time they could pull the trigger and take us out. Okay. You're saying since they didn't fire, what we were doing must have been trivial. <coughs> they didn't fire because they wanted to see what we would do. But there was no risk because we they had us on their sights the whole time. Oh. But were I had you sure there were enemies. Might they been your own snipers protecting you? Back? Yes, I think they could be. So, uh, of course, because if it's the general congratulating me for the success, he knows the mission. And if he's since I've completed it successfully, then he sent me on a mission that I was successful for, but he's saying, oh, by the way, you weren't so successful because I was monitoring you the whole time, so don't, don't feel too good about yourself. Don't feel too good about yourself. Oh, I'm not seeing it anymore. Well, um, let's see. You have a dream where there's a conflict between the high-ranking general's judgment and your own. Yeah. Why would he congratulate you on what you say is a failure? 
he wants to put me down, wants me to feel bad. See, I don't mind that, but that has to be in the dream. Did it appear in the dream that he was doing this to put you down, as you call it? He was doing it to put me below him. He was doing it? To put me below him. To him puffed up, me put down. Okay, you see what's curious. Is that in the dream? Yes, but in the dream it didn't work. Pardon me, pardon me. This is very important. You're adding something to the dream that we need. Yeah. Right? That he was doing that to, to put me below him. Yes. Because after all, he needs to. He's a high-ranking officer. Yes. Why, why does he need to put me down if he's a high-ranking officer? Because he can see I can outperform him. What? He can see I can outperform him in missions. Oh. And he could see? I could outperform him in missions and leadership. I could outperform him. In missions and leadership. Right? Yeah. Now, is that in the dream? Yes. See, that's an important piece to have in the dream. And there's a, another important piece. The person next to me, it worked. He was confused and scared and said, what does he mean? But in the dream, I was able to stay in that good state I was in when I was climbing with the boat. And I said, yeah, I did notice there's one there and there's some more around there. So he wasn't able to take me out of that state, but he was the companion. So you're saying in the dream, I, I, he could see I could outperform him on this mission. Yeah. Right, so everything that you did before that, mm. he's looking at that, and he's, he's seeing that you can outperform him. Yes. Right? Without having the rank. Yes. We're back to that rank and roll, aren't we? I was able to outperform my dad financially. You were able to outperform him without the rank. Yes. Yeah. That's the same issue as the other dream, isn't it? Absolutely. Only this has some... What? This one has some sort of co nice confirming things. The fear of falling as I climbed up the rope wasn't necessary because I was able to climb so easily. And I have good technique with the climbing. Like no, the, you found you could do it easily. I found I could do it easily. No. And that sent you out performing them. Yeah. See, for this dream to be to be capable of being reflected upon, it has to make sense in your dream that a high-ranking officer would see that you were outperforming him on this mission. Yep. That means he has to see that he couldn't do what you did. Yeah. Right? And therefore, when he's saying this statement, he's really putting you down or below him. Yes. So he's trying to recover his status. Yes. Right? See, if that's the case of the dream, then the question is, what should you have said to him? Now that you see what he is doing. Could you have done that? Huh? Could you have done that? Pardon, it's your dream. If, we, if the logic of the dream, yeah. now that you're adding these vital elements, right? now the question in the dream is, what should you have said to him? at the end of that dream, knowing that he's putting you down below him. You're saying that uh, uh, his congratulations is a fraud, mm. that he's only putting you down, mm. and he's seeing that you could outperform him, and therefore uh, he's making a negative judgment while he appears to be congratulating you. Is that right? Why is it necessary for... Yes, well, right. what, what is he doing to you? 
he's trying to diminish my success, deflate me. That's right. So uh, does that deserve a response? Yeah. Why do you feel you need to undermine the success of others to keep your rank? That's right, when he already has the rank. Yeah. That would be a good question. When he already time. has the rank. Hey, that would be a good question at that time, wouldn't it? Yeah. Ah, what would keep you from saying that or asking that? The snipers? What? The snipers? No, nothing. If I live, I believed him and I undermined what I saw, then I wouldn't say, why is it necessary for you to make me feel bad in order for you to keep your rank? Would that be dealing with the dream and the issue? Yes. Okay. No. What would it take to do it? An origin scene? <laughs> oh, you get lost. See, we're in the dream. Yeah. Right? This is the this is the drama. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. The question is, should you have responded ideally to the general at that time? And what ideally should you have said to the Jews? That's all. Yeah, and I don't know what I said. Like, hey, you could learn from this, or hey, I should be general, or hey, why are you undermining success? Or do you deserve this see, rank? See, see, and stay, <coughs> with, stay within the dream. Would you not want to know just one thing? Right? When did you see the snipers and why didn't you tell me? Or inform me about that? Isn't that the issue? Yeah. Because then he could always say, I knew the whole time. Yeah. He, didn't, he wanted to keep me ignorant so he could say, I knew this and you didn't. See, but see, now we're in a different dream now. Right? We're looking at it in a totally different way. Yeah. It all depends upon whether or not these things are in the dream. Yeah, they are. I just don't know what I could say to someone like that. And then you have to then deal with the critical element of the dream is because he knew it. Was, he knew it. You'd want to know when did he know it and why didn't he share it with you. If that's the issue, that's what should have been talked about. Because he's teaching me to be constantly afraid of imaginary snipers all the time. By not telling me what he's seeing and saying, oh, you screwed up. Well, there's a lot of issues that are hanging on the background that because of mer uh, uh, He's not a very good general. No, no, he's not. You're in the wrong army. Yes. Or, right? I mean, there's something fundamentally wrong with it. Yeah, in a lot of different ways. That's why I can't yeah, pinpoint like one If he knew that all along, why didn't he share it with me? Yeah. So therefore, at the end of the dream, you could ask him that question. Hey, I went all through this great success. You even congratulated me on it. Yeah. How come you didn't tell me about the snipers? The question for you is, what would it take to have said that? Seeing him without, hmm? it would take seeing him as a person without the rank and file. Right, right. So you're still under the influence of, a, of rank and roll. Because I didn't speak up in the dream. Right. Just because he wears a funny hat. No. Oh. And saying, if you sent me this task and you put me through this, right. why set this right. trap? <laughs> okay, enough is enough. <laughs>